Pitbull versus Tyler the Creator. Pitbull versus Tyler the Creator? What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most domineering show on the internet. My name is Riley Zone, I'm joined by my engaged co-host, Dignan. I'm getting married! Today we're doing a good old-fashioned popularity contest. This is... Guess, Guess which rapper has more monthly listeners on Spotify? All right, here's how it's gonna work. 1v1, we get two rappers, we have to guess which has more monthly listeners on Spotify right now in this very moment. One point for each one we get right, me versus Dignan versus you. Will in me sick Michigan. And Will, you make me sick. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, hivemindtv.com for our merch. Also go over to Cope's website and pick up some of our merch available there right now. Some of it is on the screen, linked in description, as well as our Patreon, which is only $5 a month. It's the best way you can support the channel. And, and, and lastly, our Cameo is linked down there if you want a special message from us. <laughs> DJ Grant, what's the first matchup? Lil Durk versus Kid Cudi. Lil Durk versus Kid Cudi. Lil Durk having a <sighs> heck of a run right now. Yeah, not as hot as he was, you know, a year ago though, I'd say. I don't know, I feel like Durk's got crazy numbers. You think he's steaming right now? Yeah. I gotta go with my heart, daddy. Okay. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, sorry. I was talking to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Mr. Durkin? I don't know why he's here for filming, but he's uh, He needed to pick up those quaaludes. Okay, then why is he wearing a referee shirt and holding a whistle? <laughs> Awfully close to his mouth, too. He's like ready to blow the whistle. You know he has to hustle to pay rent. We're not paying him to referee a hive mind game. I'm paying him, all right? I wanted to keep a referee around because I wanted someone to tee you up if you cross the line again today. Okay, well, that's coming out of your paycheck. I hope you know that. That's fine. I was just paying him. I was paying him on my own money anyway. Three, two, one. I put Durkio. Kid Cuddy. It is Lil Dirt. Shit. Yeah, it's just the structure of the question. You know, you got a legend versus the new hot guy. The new hot guy is always going to get it. <laughs> I thought I was the new hot guy. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It's still Chalamet. <laughs> Grant, what's the breakdown there? Lil Dirk has 26,848,931, and Kid Cuddy has 23,000,000. 387,650. Wow. All right, so 26 million to 23 million. Grant, what's that next matchup? Quavo versus Offset. Ooh. A, a civil war here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Quavo and Takeoff just seceded from the union and started Unk and Neff. Yeah. And then Offset's on his own right now. Nobody really knows what the conflict exactly is, but for now, the Migos are no more. Offset has a lot of solo workout. So does Quavo, though. Quavo's on a lot of features. I had a song with Quavo. He never dropped. Really? Yeah. That track was really eccentric. It sucks. He's never going to drop it. How do you know he's never going to drop it? He told me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He said, you restrung a harp with spaghetti noodles. Why would I drop this song? He oh. said, because it sounds adventurous, Quave. That is eccentric. I, that's more eccentric than I thought. It sounded like... <laughs> Three, two, one. I went with Offset. That's what I said. It is Offset. Let's mm. go. Okay, what's the difference there? Offset has 12,626,346 and Quavo has 11,000,000. 32,859. Very close. Yeah. And how many do the Migos have? Just to, just because I'm curious. You just add them together and take off 14 and then you got it. <laughs> Migos has 17 million. Okay. I thought it'd be more than that. All right, what's that next matchup, DJ Grant? Pitbull versus Tyler the Creator. Pitbull versus Tyler the Creator? See, this one seems like it should be obvious. A lot of hits on Pitbull, but Tyler the Creator is like the man of the moment, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like, I mean, he's selling out arenas all mm -hmm. over the world. Well, <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> oh, Mr. Worldwide, <laughs> Pitbull, yeah. Kind of amazing we still have to have lobster fishermen, you know? Why? <laughs> You'd think we could just like catch them without people going out on boats. What? You, know, you think we could just like train them to come to shore, so, like literally walk to the restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't that be the same said for like anything? Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, this is ridiculous. Cows should kill themselves and cut themselves <laughs> up into steaks. Why do we still have someone doing that? How hard can it be? So you want nature to catch up so much that the animals are preparing themselves as dishes for us. Yes. Evolution does not work like that, my friend. Put a little chip in their head. Put a little chip in their head. Yeah, suicide chip. You want animal researchers to develop a suicide chip to yeah. implant in the brains of animals so that yeah. they start to prepare themselves yeah. for us to eat. Yeah, and they know, and it like makes them understand what they should eat while they're alive to make it more tasty. Wow. It's honestly an idea that is so stupid, it's kind of brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> Three, two, one. I went with Tyler. Mr. Worldwide. It is Pitbull. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pitbull has more monthly listeners than Tyler the Creator? Pitbull, 32,691,750. Tyler, 23,053,136. Blew him out of the water. Pitbull has 32 million monthly listeners? That is insane. He's like ranked worldwide. I I hate saying, you know. Remember when Tinder first came out and people just kept doing, it's going down, 
I'm yelling Tinder. You'd be going on a Tinder date and then you'd like be like saying goodbye to the bros and you'd be like, it's going down tonight. I'm yelling Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Another brewski for the road? You shouldn't drink and drive, man. I'll be fine. <laughs> Pitbull might be the sexiest bald guy too. Are you forgetting about Sean Evans, the host of Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings? No, I'm not forgetting about his dumb ass. <laughs> what about Howie Mandel, the host of Deal or No Deal, Disgu the show with hot questions and even hotter wings? <laughs> Disgusting soul patch. What about Mr. Clean, the mascot for Mr. Clean, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings? Too shiny. Yeah, it might be Pitbull then. It really might be. Grant, what's the next matchup? Steve Lacey versus Thames. Oh, Ooh, Steve Lacey versus Thames. This is a good one. Thames from Lagos, Nigeria. Steve Lacey from Compton, California. Famous for making a whole album on GarageBand or no iPhone. Yeah. I think he made a whole album on iPhone, right? But his new album, Gemini Writes, is out right now. Yep. Getting rave reviews. Mm -hmm. Tim, 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 Tim's on my titties, bitch. What? <laughs> it's like tens on my titties. <laughs> it's it just... It's like a play on words. It's a familiar song. Rack City? Is what you're yes. doing, Rack City? Tams, Tams, Tams on my titties, bitch. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Thames. Steve! It is Thames! <sighs> I just think globally, Thames has got to be more popular, right? Yeah, I just thought with the new release and, you know, the popularity, Steve might be racing up there. What's the breakdown, Grant? Thames has 16,080,409, and Steve Lacey has 15,138,110. That is close. Yeah, Steve Lacey got 15 million monthly listeners. Good for Steve. It would be a funny job. Bouncer at a sky zone. You gotta be 21 to yeah. bounce, baby. <laughs> I'm bouncing. Think I need some counseling. When he says that, does he mean he's leaving? Yeah, I never thought about that. I think he means like, I'm leaving, I need some counseling. I just pictured him kind of... <laughs> yeah, I'm bouncing. <laughs> Think I need some counseling. Like the next square off. West Side Gun versus West Side Boogie. Oh, a battle of the West Side. Oh, West Side battle. We got Boogie versus Gun. Usually the gun wins. <laughs> Try and shoot me now. Okay. <laughs> West Side Boogie's album is so good, though. I know. You said that it's one of your favorite albums of the year. It's racing up there. It's like the first album I've heard in months that I just had to re-listen to. Yeah. Like, I listened to it once, and I was like, oh, that's not enough. Listen to it again, and now I'm, like, pulling songs off of it. And I wasn't even a big fan before. So there's a recommendation for you guys. Check out the West Side Boogie album. Fi Fi. Co-signed by Dignan from Hive Mind. <laughs> that's me. It's got the Diggy stamp of approval. It's a Cheeto dust stamp. It's just his fingerprint with Cheeto dust. That's his stamp of approval. So? I mean, it's fine, but I was just letting him know what it was. In case they see it on something, they'll know that it's approved by Diggy. I heard judgment in your voice, though. No! No? No way, dude! <laughs> okay. I would never judge you, man. Yeah. I must be misreading signals again. I absolutely would never judge you, man! Zero judgment coming from over here, man! Three, two, one! West Side Gun. Gun. It is West Side Gun! Yes! West Side Gun's notoriety is more on a hey, hey, whoa, whoa level, and Boogie's more on a yeah, yeah, uh, level. Yeah, you can't even understand that second word. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Very easy to understand. Boo, 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 boo! Soul crack to a pine tree. <laughs> a barbecue in a swimming pool. I walk around with my shoes tied. <laughs> shoes tied. I go to sleep in a shower cap. <sighs> I ate Chex Mix for cereal. <laughs> It's always just saying stuff that really grabs your ear. Those are all real lines from his songs. <laughs> uh, what, what, what are the numbers there? Uh, West Side Gun has 1,951,486, and West Side Boogie has 1,844,193. That is amazing West Side Gun only has 1.9. You me. would never be able to guess that from the internet discourse about rap. Yeah, that's like, what I mean. West Side Gun comes up so much as like one of the best guys doing it right now. Yeah. I mean, it is crazy. 1.9 million? That's yeah. not very much. No. Obviously, West Side Gun is so distinguishable against like the rest of rap that I think he just gets brought up a lot because he is so unique. Next matchup, G? Dua Lipa versus Drake. Oh, no. Dua Lipa versus Drake. Pop star versus house music legend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How have they not made a song together? I don't think Dua Lipa wants anywhere near Drake. Really? No. He hangs out with Jack Harlow a lot, and Dua Lipa is definitely keeping her eye on Jack Harlow. Listening to Jack Harlow, smoke crack at the car show. When it comes to rapping, you set the bar low. Eating Skittles at a sushi restaurant! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Three, two, one. Dua Lipa. Drake. It is Dua Lipa! Good, I'm glad. Super stoked. Well, yeah, hey, that was not always true, though. No. But I actually, no, Dua Lipa has, like, two songs in the top 25 most streamed of all time. Yeah. I feel like she stands above Drake at most times. Racks on my bitch and Gold Cadillac, right? Wait, what? 
Aren't those the two Dua Lipa songs that have the all the numbers? No, I don't. I don't even think those are Dua Lipa songs in general. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. You say racks on my bitch. Yeah. <laughs> now is that about money on a woman, or is that about like liking big cans? <laughs> <laughs> you mean chumba wumbas, <laughs> big cajombe chumbas, <laughs> big blobby droppies. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Why do you only know colloquial terms for breasts? I mean, this is crazy. Caramba drambas. <laughs> Doesn't even sound, it sounds like you're making them up on the spot. Bongo dangos? <laughs> All right, uh, what's the numbers here? Dua Lipa has 71,684,328, and Aubrey has 66,107,820. Wow. Oh, that's not that much. Seems normal. That's like way more than people than I had on Facebook. It's crazy Obvi to think about. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I had a lot of friends on there. Were they friends on Facebook? Is that what it was? Yeah. Now they're fucking enemies. Ain't that ironic? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's on Facebook is, an, is the ops. <laughs> yeah. And what is Dua Lipa in the world? She's fifth most streamed artist. Fifth most streamed artist. Okay, and then what about Drake? Drake is sixth most streamed artist. Oh my gosh, they're right in a row. Yeah. Wow, that is crazy. Grant, what's the next matchup? <laughs> Asher Roth versus Andre 3000. Asher Roth versus <laughs> Is Andre 3000? Yep. Both members of Outcast against each other? I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> well, Asheroth has I Love College, and Andre 3000 has... Let's hope Asher has a Roth IRA. What the fuck is that? I don't even know, but people say it. Like, people say it, and they're talking about money. What is it, though? I don't know. I could use a Roth IPA. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here, guys. You shouldn't drink and drive. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fucking sick. You see what he did? Wait. <laughs> It was like a sick crash. Oh, they're like impressed by the yeah, crash? Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, because you kind of, you like clipped the fire hydrant and your whole car spun and landed on its wheels, but the impact was so hard, your eyes popped out. <laughs> oh, am I going to be okay? No. <laughs> no, uh, he's definitely dead, but that was fucking sick. <laughs> Damn, this person is a fan of car crashes. Hey. It's their lucky day, too. I just yeah. happened to be there. Crack me another Roth IPA. It's fucking <laughs> gnarly. Three, two, one. Asher Roth. Andre 3000. It is Asher Roth. <laughs> you gotta think about how Grant's putting together these games, I, man. I thought this was smoke and mirrors. When people say smoke and mirrors, yeah. are they talking about when you smoke too much weed and you look in the mirror and you don't recognize the person in front of you? <laughs> no. Oh, they're talking about smoking glass. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's like a meth thing. Yep. Uh, what are the numbers there, Grant? Asher Roth has 818,452, and Andre 3K has 803,048. One of the greatest rappers to ever live has less than a million on his own. You think Asher Roth's one of the greatest rappers to ever live? <laughs> I mean, he's pretty good. Uh, how much does Outkast have? Outkast has 16,881,000. Oh, okay. I mean, Andre has not dropped very much solo music. That's it's true. mostly just features. He's a feature god. Ooh. You got a little blood on you. <laughs> had blood on me? Yeah, just a little bit. From what? Oh, I don't know. Probably one of the car accidents. Oh, yeah, I did get in two car accidents in this video so far. <laughs> All right, uh, what's the next one, Grant? Lotto versus Moneybag Yo. <sighs> Oh my gosh, two streaming giants. Yeah. Lotto has a top 10 hit in the country right now. Yeah. And also just featured on that new Saucy Santana song, which is crazy. Yeah, it is good. Booty by Saucy Santana. If you guys have not heard this, samples <laughs> Crazy in Love by Beyonce. Ridiculous track. Moneybag Yo's last album was a bop. Big time radio <laughs> success. Yeah, that's true. And I heard the kids loved it. I don't know, dude. <laughs> You love it. I don't know. You listen to it all the time. Scorpio by Moneybag Yo is like one of your most played songs of last year. And I'm telling you, the kids love it. Ah, fuck. You don't have to pretend to be hip and like you're on the internet, man. You get it. These young kids are sure listening to the shit out of that new Lotto track. Mm, fuck. I just don't know if they are or not. Children these days are eating up that rap music, especially Senior Moneybag Yo. Why did I call him Senior? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that that I will say was a weird choice, oh, but other than that, I mean, I've such a bad choice right there by me. Yeah, that was, that was odd. <laughs> the youth, especially ages 12 to 16, are really enjoying every single lotto drops. And I carry out the last <laughs> word like that. Yeah, no, now Please. it's getting weird. This isn't going to be on TV, is it? Depends where people watch it. Could be on their phones. <sighs> Three, two, one. Put lotto. I put lotto. It is lotto. Yes. Big energy. Okay, uh, what are the numbers there? Lotto has 14,515,263. Moneybag Yo has 11,654,930. 
82. I honestly thought both of them would have more than that. Just oh, based, really? Yeah. I mean, I know they're new and everything, but Moneybag Yo is like, does in incredibly well on streaming, incredibly mm -hmm. well on YouTube and the radio. And then Lotto has such a huge hit right now. I thought that would have propelled her to like 18 to 20. Yeah. That's not a surprising range for me. Like Offset and Quavo are in that same range on their yeah. solo music, you know? Yeah. And Lotto and Moneybag Yo are stars right now. Yeah. You know, like per capita, squirrels have the fattest cocks in the animal kingdom. <laughs> That started so informally and ended up like a scientific, like why did you say fattest cocks? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, there was a squirrel in my trash can last night, and that dude had a hog on him. An absolute... So this is all anecdotal evidence? I mean, Jesus, Beef man. stick on that guy. <laughs> Holy smokes. Why would it be per capita, either? Proportionally, squirrels have the fattest cocks in the animal kingdom, would be the scientific way to say that. Yeah. Animal Planet has fallen off. Have you watched that recently? No. They're just showing old Jersey Shore reruns. Wait, really? Yeah, it's crazy. I know they were doing music videos for a second. Yeah, what is it? Kanye West versus Calvin Harris. I used to have a ferret named Calvin Harris. Nice. <laughs> well, Calvin Harris is on a singles run right now. <laughs> what? Oh, like he's single? He's out there dating? No, I mean, he might be. I don't know. Oh. I was talking about he's releasing songs. Right. He's got that new song with uh, Pharrell. Pharrell, Justin Timberlake, and Halsey. And right before that, did one with 21 Savage, which I didn't like that much on first listen, but then I've been re-listening to it and I do like it. That's kind of how his music always goes for me. First time I hear it, I want to like discount it as like, oh, he's just going, you know, he's a pop chart guy. Yeah. And then like, as you get into it a little more, his attention to details supreme. Yeah, he's a great producer. Yeah. Three, two, one. Calvin Harris. That's what I put. It is Calvin Harris. Yes, <laughs> I knew it had to be. Yes. I mean, the pop charts guy releasing singles right now. Yeah, Kanye doesn't on. do crazy on Spotify either. No. All right, and what are the numbers there, Grant? Calvin Harris has 55,868,459, and Kanye has 51,000,000. 987,018. Almost up there with Drake. Yeah. Sheesh. You wanna hear my impression of Lin-Manuel Miranda working on a musical about modern times? Yeah. And I hope to poke a hole in this inflated economy while women have to fight for their bodily autonomy. God help the poor like the book of Deuteronomy. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? That's awesome. Hamilton sucked. Yeah. You know they needed I mean? more trap beats. Yeah, there weren't enough trap beats. I was going to say the exact same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they should put Lil Durk in the new one. Grant, what's the next matchup? <laughs> Mitski versus Phoebe Bridgers. Mitski versus Phoebe Bridgers. Okay. Girl power. Thank you for that. No problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a tough one, actually. Yeah. It seems very obvious on the front end, but it's not. I actually read an article about how this is not obvious. Really? Yeah. They'll write anything these days. <laughs> it was like a year ago or something that this article came out, but it was kind of like the mysterious superstardom of Mitski. Yeah. How Mitski left social media and became more popular throughout her time away from social media and how it was kind of baffling. Yeah. And Mitski is still not back on social media, evidenced by the fact that she still follows me on Twitter. Twitter and Instagram. I feel like she would have unfollowed me by this point if she <laughs> was on social media. For sure. Yeah. I did. You unfollowed me? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. What was the final straw? Something about the way your face makes me feel. My face? Yeah. Like this one? Yeah. And it's mostly that look too. <laughs> this one? I don't know. It makes me, uh, I'm repulsed by it. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Somebody should write an article about that because <laughs> I am confused about what makes me unlikable. <laughs> oh well. Three, two, one. I put Mitski. I put Phoebe. It is Mitski. Mitski's still holding strong over Phoebe Bridgers. That's so crazy. I feel like a lot of people would be very surprised. It's kind of like the West Side Gun effect. Phoebe yeah. Bridgers is so popular on the internet and obviously like nominated for Grammys, you know, featuring on the Minions soundtrack. Yeah. Like, huge accolades like that. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Mitski doesn't have any of that, but what are the numbers here? Mitski has 9,676,555 and Phoebe Bridgers has 6,459,187. Wow. Phoebe's a lot lower than I thought, actually. Yeah. That's interesting. Sold some sherm to a fiend, look like Phoebe Bridgers. <laughs> All right, uh, DJ Grant, what's the next one? Buster Rhymes versus Ludacris. Buster Rhymes versus Ludacris? Throwback. Let's go. I will still rest the case that Ludacris is like, the best rapper name of all time. I was gonna say, he has had a ludicrous career. It's awesome. It's a great name for an artist. Yeah, it is really good because it's a word that isn't used that much. Yeah. And then it also has like that phonetic beginning yep. where you can say Luda. Luda. Luda, like yep. that's Luda. Doing 200 on the highway. So if you do the speed limit, get the fuck out of my way. Three, two, one. Well, with Luda. Me too. It is Buster Rhyme. Really? There you go, Busta. Wow, Ludacris had like number one hits all throughout the 2000s. 
2000s. Yeah, but Busta's still like popping up on albums. I think that might be what's keeping him in the Spotify algorithm working a little more. Yeah, he was on the Tribe Called Quest album. He was basically a member of Tribe Called Quest yeah. at one point. He's but... gonna be on the Dami and JD Beck album. That's true. He's, yeah. he's been on Anderson Pac records in the past, like mm. over the last four or five years. And I feel like Luda hasn't done, Luda doesn't do features anymore. Yeah, he's a businessman yeah. at this point. Okay, and uh, what are the numbers there between Luda and Busta? Yeah, Busta Rhymes has 9,538,000. And and Ludacris has 6,068,016. Wow, it's like the same exact spread as Mitski and Phoebe Bridgers. Yeah. <laughs> that is so weird. So Buster Rhymes is the Mitski to Ludacris's Phoebe Bridgers. Well said. Now that's not a sentence you can find on any other YouTube channel. Okay, <laughs> that's why you guys subscribe. Don't just draw Chumba Wumbas. Sorry, sorry. DJ Grant, what's the next one? Jaleel versus Tana. Okay, Tana being Baby Santana, who yes. goes by Tana now. All right, 15-year-old superstar, Baby Santana versus Jaleel. Muscle monster. Muscle monster and friend of the show, Jaleel. Jaleel, yeah. yeah. Real raw energy. <laughs> Three, two, one. Tana. Jaleel. It is Tana. Mm. Man. What are the numbers there? Jaleel has 2,035,083, and Tana has 2,052,499. Wow, very close. Neck and neck. I thought TikTok was gonna do it for old Jaleel. I think Jaleel's just on his way up. And Tana has songs that are like downright Spotify smashes. Yeah. Like, and honestly, when we were in LA and saw Baby Santana, people we're were full. freaking out. Yeah. Like he was on a balcony with young Chris watching the other performers and kids were standing around throwing their phone cases up with Sharpies for him to sign them. He yeah, was insane. Crazy. Yeah. All right, next one. Nirvana versus the Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Chili Peppers still release music. Yeah. Nirvana, obviously one of the most legendary bands of all time, but their last release was 1994. But Batman. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Something in the way. Something's in my ass. <laughs> Robert Pattinson sucked as Batman. I didn't watch it, so I don't know. Just like, he's like pathetic. He's just not believable as a superhero. Like, I don't think he's someone that could stop crime, wants to stop crime. I guess, I don't know. He's got like a good physique. He's like a shrivelly little worm guy that likes coffee. That's how I see him. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's like so. a coffee house, acoustic guitar playing troubadour. I mean, have you seen his picture of him in Death Grips with Beyonce? No, is it hard? It's a cool ass pick, yeah. Batman would be taking cool picks if he was real. Three, two, one. I put Nirvana. <laughs> RHCP. It is the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, that is so upsetting. No, oh my gosh. Not. They blended funk and rock and roll in a way that's never been done before. <laughs> but Nirvana is like actually a cool band and the Red Hot Chili Peppers are lame. They're lame. How many lame people do you know that love the Red Hot Chili Peppers? A lot. I know a lot of lame people that love Nirvana too and they smell bad. They smell bad. Stink. I mean, if you were gonna like host a YouTube show with a Nirvana fan, one of the hardest things about it would be containing your grimace as you sat next to that stinky, stinky person. Like dog piss and roadkill. Seems like a really specific situation. Are you? I would never. This isn't. No. It's not about. Nah. Sure, I ran out of deodorant a few weeks ago, but whatever. Yeah. Sure. If anyone stinks, it's you. You stink. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here he goes. <laughs> What's the breakdown on those? Yeah, Nirvana has 24,161,113, and Red Hot Chili Peppers has 25,407,914. Wow. wow, it is close. Yeah. But 25 million for the Chili Peps? This may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. basement. And Cobain, can you hear your song scream? Streaming crimes from station to station. That's in that verse. He says that? Yeah, Cobain, can you hear your songs being played station to station? Something like that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Not enough. <laughs> Not that. as much as ours, but people still really, really like you. <laughs> DJ Grant, what's the next one? Turnstile versus Blade. Ooh, wow. Turnstile, the most exciting band in rock right now, in my, yeah. in my opinion. I would agree. And Blade, one of my favorite artists of all time. Tall. Tall guy. 6'5 would be my guess. Got that going for him. Sexy tall guy. Wait, what? You think Blade's like hot? Mm -hmm. That's okay, right? No, that's fine. I just didn't know. You yeah. never really expressed that view. We talk about Blade a lot on this channel. <laughs> kind of in a Blade, uh, Blade phase. <laughs> You're having a blade phase, huh? Yeah. Like, not the music, though. Not the music at all. Just no. looking at pictures of it. Yeah. Interesting. He's fire fit, cool hair, kind of mysterious, tall. I know he said that, but he's that, that's a big, big thing for me. Yeah, you love tall guys. Uh-huh. And uh, Swedish. Cool. Good for you, man. 
Yes. What? I didn't do anything. Why are you jealous of Blade? I'm definitely not jealous of Blade. Sounds like you wish you were 6'5 in Swedish. Everybody wishes they were 6'5 in Swedish. Duh! That's why I think he's hot. Okay, fine. It'd be cool if there was a jam band from Sweden. So we'd call them Swedish Fish. Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Fuck. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. So wait, who is it? It's Fish versus the String Cheese incident? <laughs> Three, two, one. I went with Turnstile. I went with Blade. It is Turnstile. <laughs> wow. I am playing a stinker of a ball game. Now, I know we brought this up two other times in the video so far, but like Phoebe Bridgers and West Side Gun, you would think, based on the internet, that Blade had so many more monthly listeners yeah. than he has. It's always been like that. He's so relevant on the internet and doesn't even have a million monthly listeners. He's a cultural icon. So what are the numbers? Turnstile has 1,008,791, and Blade has 750,844. Crazy. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah, Turnstile probably just hit a million. That's that's good for them. Yeah, that's exciting. Do us that dirty stuff, Grant. Paul McCartney versus Bob Dylan. <sighs> Ooh, Paul versus Bob, huh? I'll tell you who got more work done. Paul McCartney. That guy looks like a monster. Yeah. Oh, plastic <laughs> surgery. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Bob never went under the knife. I can respect that about him. You should have went under the knife for his vocal cords. Jesus Christ, he sounds like shit. Take it back. I'll give you one opportunity. Take it back. To when? Like the 80s, the 70s when Bob Dylan sounded better? Take it back. Take it back now, y'all. Thanks. Turn around. Why does a song have to tell me what to do? <laughs> Don't do that. Cha-cha now, y'all. No thanks. Leave the dancing choices to me, song. If the song was better, I would just naturally dance to it. Well, no wonder you're hungry. You're hitting a bong on set. What? Do you even have weed right now? Stay in school, kid. What? I didn't ask for advice. Wait, where'd your dad go? <laughs> oh, he had to bounce. He was here for like half the video. I didn't yeah. even see him leave. Yeah, he had to bounce. He's teaching underprivileged children how to skimboard down in the river right now. Oh, he's bouncing. He had to do some counseling. Yeah. Three, two, one. Paul McCartney. Paul McCart. It is Paul McCartney. That one's obvious. His new music's good. He does have Dominic Fike on his album. Four or five seconds from Wild. I know you love that song, but uh, it's not a great song. Calm down, Dana. Don't. Give him the wrath. He doesn't deserve the wrath. Whew. Right, yeah, whatever you said. Bob Dylan's new music sounds like <laughs> <laughs> What are the numbers for Paul and Bob? Paul's got 9,881,056 and Bobby's got 8,627,779. Wow, Mitski is right on Paul's tail. That's crazy. <laughs> Both Offset and Quavo have more than Paul McCartney and Bob Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last one, Grant. Well played game, Riley. Sebi versus Clay Aiken. <laughs> oh, Sebi versus season two, second place finisher, Clay Aiken. Underground hyperpop artist and friend of the show, Sebi, versus American Idol season two runner-up and Democratic primary winner for House of Representatives in North Carolina, Clay Aiken. Yeah, th I'm glad you knew that. I was going to bring that up. Yeah. Clay Aiken, a semi-successful political career after he realized his music was garbo. <laughs> <laughs> Sebi, if you're watching, I know it's a creepy song. The lyrics are creepy, but you can pull it off. We need a Sebi cover of Invisible by Clay Aiken. Internet, do your thing. And Clay Aiken, if you're watching, fuck off. I was going to say, thanks for all the work you're doing. I know you're an activist, and uh, I appreciate you trying to delve into politics and help people. I mean, running as a Democrat in North Carolina is just like a fool's errand, though. There was a time in my life where I was aching to hear more Clay. Three, two, one. I put Sebi. That's what I put. It is Sebi. <laughs> Where'd no. your Ruben stuttered? No way our guy was losing to Clay fucking Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> what are the numbers there? Sebi has 179,607, and Clay's got 102,166. Ha ha. Wow. How the mighty have fallen. Mm -hmm. Well, that was another fun game of monthly listeners. If you want us to play it again, let us know down in the comments. These ones are always fun. Also, send some suggestions over to DJ Grant. Best way to do that is Patreon, but also you can DM him. His Instagram is in the description. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all this stuff is at the beginning and diggy please leave these wonderful people with some advice to live or leave their lives by don't you ever think that maybe god's in heaven because he too is scared of what he created all right this has been high by tv we love you appreciate you and we'll see you in the next one i put a whole bow bun in my ass no you didn't yeah it felt good cool oh why did that hurt you
Ouch! What? <laughs> Let me roll it to ya. A lot of good songs. Wings is fucking kick ass. Yeah, Wings does kick ass. And that's why Sean, Sean Evans made such a great show all about them. Oh, he kind of did a Wings Over America tour. Sean Evans did. Please stop. Dude. Of the band Hot Ones. Or no, Please sorry, stop. the show Hot Ones. Stop talking what? about Sean, Sean Evans. Evans. Complex employee Sean Evans. He loves Wings. Paul McCartney has a band called Wings. I'm just really hungry right now. Don't you wish your girlfriend was a right. thought like me?